Hello, this is Steve Grisetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com guides to any number of video editing programs. As many of you know, when it comes to analog capture or capture of any tape-based video, one of my favorite devices is the EasyLink USB video grabber card. That's it. You can see it on the screen here. It's available from Amazon.com for under $30. Now, this will work with an analog device like a VCR a DVD player that's outputting analog. It will also work with mini DV and HDV and even digital 8 digital devices, which previously would attach to your computer via FireWire, but who has FireWire anymore, right? And I show you how to use this device in a separate tutorial, but installing the device is a little bit tricky. This is a Chinese company, and as with a lot of Chinese hardware, it travels under a lot of different names. It comes with an installation disk, and the installation disk references a website that essentially no longer exists. So that can be a little bit tricky. Here is how you install it. It's not that hard. Put the DVD into your disk drive, open up the DVD. Now you will want to make sure, of course, the device is plugged into your computer. You don't have to have it attached to a camcorder. Just plug it into your USB port so it's your computer and your operating system recognize it. Then go in here. Now I'm on a Windows machine, so I have a Windows folder here. If you were on a Mac, you'd find Mac installation files. Open up the one marked driver first, right click, and make sure you select Run as Administrator. Now, I already have it installed on my computer. That's why it's asking me, do I want to repair or remove it? Let's pretend like I don't have it installed and we'll go ahead with the installation here. You get this wizard, it'll walk you through the process. You click finish and it will say, are you ready to restart your computer? If you're just installing this, of course, you will want to restart to install those drivers. Otherwise, I already got it, so I'm going to skip that part. Once it's installed, you can double check to make sure it's properly installed on your Windows machine by opening up your device manager. And you can do that by right clicking on the start button and selecting device manager. And here under device manager, look under sound, video and game controllers, and you should see something that says USB vid box. So those drivers are properly installed. Now the software for doing the capture is out here in this main directory on the disk. There it is, pop player. There is a 64-bit and a 32-bit installation file. Go ahead and install the 64-bit. Just double click on it. And it will install. Just follow the prompts. I recommend when it comes to file association that you select none here. Otherwise, it's going to change all of your file support to the POT player. You probably don't want that. And then let it install. Make sure once the installation is complete that you select the option to detect the hardware decoder encoder. And matter of fact, just leave these all checked, click close, and it will open the POT player. There it is. You'll get some update notes here, uh, including the option to download the latest update. Of course, you want to do that. Once it's done that, the POT player will open up and you can then do your video capture, which I show you how to do in a separate tutorial. It's not that complicated, just kind of a little bit tricky. Anyway, once you're running, you're going to love this device. It produces high quality capture and it does so fairly easily. Anyway, if you want to know more about how to use these kind of devices, and if you want to know how to do your video editing once you're in there, be sure to check out the tips and tutorials we have at moviepix.com. If you want to know everything about everything, <laughs> check out our moviepix.com guides at amazon.com. I'm Steve Grisetti. Thanks for joining me. See you soon.